You know, I've, I've been talking for a long time on this show about presentation and how important that is to the success and the, the satisfaction of the meal. Well, Cheryl Knowlton of Edgewood is going to prove that to us tonight with Black Forest Bites, which I have never had, but just the way they look that you showed me. Yep. Uh, I am hungry for them. How's that? <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, what are we going to do here? Well, first we're going to um, cream the ch uh, cream the cream cheese okay. with um, three fourths cup of sugar. And we're going to whip that up really good, okay. nice and fluffy. You can turn it up just a little bit more if you want, George. There you go. There you go. These are really easy to make. They're great for Christmas time. You can make the, um, the cups ahead of time. They do need to sit overnight in the uh, refrigerator. So you can do them the night before a big gathering. I like to make them at Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, That's pretty good. Yeah, then they're just real easy to for the next day. Okay. All right, okay, so then what? we're gonna stick the chocolate in there. Oh. Yeah. Here's How's our that? chocolate. Okay. Sit. Not too hot? Ah, Not too hot. Thank I you. think you're good there. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to put this in here. Hopefully I'm not going to get it all over you, George. That's all right. A little spilling and cooking <laughs> is just something that just goes Especially with the tray. chocolate, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah Everybody really loves chocolate. It yeah, you can lick the bowl. But it's getting looking better and better. No, it's <laughs> with gonna everything get better. you add there. Yeah, you wait till you see what goes in next. Okay. Then we're going to use a tablespoon of Kahlua. Okay. You can also use a tablespoon of um, really dark black black coffee if you like. Okay, yeah. If you want to skip the alcohol. Yeah. Coffee and chocolate are really a nice pair. Yeah, they are. Actually, Kahlua is coffee liqueur. So <laughs> yeah. That's one of the reasons but this I think recipe it's more works fun so well. with the Kahlua. Oh, me too. Okay, we're going to miss this. Well, we're going to put some other stuff in okay. there too. We're going to use um, some uh, heavy cream. Ah. Uh, I'm going to put that in there. Okay. And then we're going to use um, a, normally a teaspoon of vanilla, but this is that extra strength kind and you only want to use a half. You don't want to use a whole teaspoon or it'll be um, over, kind of overwhelming. Sort of re read the label before <laughs> you do, huh? Exactly. And I know this is a no-no, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay. So whip her up. Okay. You know, I saw this recipe yesterday, and all afternoon I thought about these. I can't oh, wait to try them. Yeah. They sound wonderful. I'm kind of they a chocolate are. freak. Mm. And the chocolate and the cherry mixture is really, really, really good. Yeah, a little bit more. Yep. There we go. Well, while you're oh, doing that, beautiful. I'm going to take... Um, Chocolate cookie crumbs. Famous chocolate wafers. Yes, and I like to use these. Um, sometimes they're hard to find. Sometimes they are, mm -hmm. yes. And they're usually on the top shelf yes. in the cookie section, the cookie not section. down below at eye level. So you have to kind of look for those. And um, so why we're waiting so for that. So you've just crushed those to yeah. fine crumbs. Actually, I just put them in the Cuisinart. Yeah, oh, it okay. does a great job. Yeah, just quick, did them a, you know, a couple times. And then you use um, two two um, tablespoons of butter. I just used one just because... Um, you have a small amount there. Well, yeah, because I'm not making the um, full recipe today. Uh, it makes 48. Wow. Uh, so I didn't That's about enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to take the time today to fill 48 of those cups. You have big dinners, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I probably could have put a little bit more butter in here, but we're just going to go with this. So um, after we do that, we're going to fill these cups. Um, I will say that they work better if you use the um, aluminum cups. The foil ones, yes, yes. the foil ones, because they'll peel off the, the um, cookie or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, whatever we want to call it. So I just use a little tiny, I'm just going to put it in the bottom. Kind of gives it a base at the bottom. Sure. So far this looks pretty yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. It is. It's very easy, quick, great. If you're looking for, and well, so then how do we finish this? Well, we're gonna put these all in, and then we're going to put this um, cream cheese chocolate. So you don't have to smush this in or anything. Just no. Put it right in sometimes it? I just, you know, kind of spread it out a little bit so it's even, oh, well, even in there. Yeah. There you go. And 
Then we're going to take this mixture and we're going to put it in these cups. Now, if I'm at home, I'd probably be using my fingers. Sure. <laughs> but here on uh, TV, we'll just do it like this. Another thing that would work well are those tiny portion scoops. Mm -hmm. Those would be terrific That's for a this. good idea. I'm going to go home and buy one. <laughs> <laughs> this can get a little tedious. Okay, so we can tip, whoops, get up there, you little yeah. stinker. Okay, so you would continue to um, fill that up. Mm -hmm. Then you would um, bake them at uh, 375 for 10 to 12 minutes. It's important to kind of know your, your stove, your, your oven, oven. Mm -hmm. and um, know how long to cook it. This keeps um, in the refrigerator overnight, so if you don't want to make 48, you can make, you know, 24, sure. whatever. And um, I would suggest that you um, bake one, at least one pan before you go on with the uh, rest, maybe bake the rest the next day, just because if they don't cook enough, they're kind of doughy. And you don't want that to happen. You want them to be nice and firm with the cherry in there. And so after this, we're going to bake them, and then they're going to go into the um, refrigerator overnight or, you know, at least for 12 hours. So the, that they really set up. Yes. Nice. And the... Um, the cookie themselves or the cream cheese mixture, whatever we, we want to call it, is going to sink to the bottom and make kind of a concave little mm -hmm. cup. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a cup. Then when you bring it out the next day, this is what the finished product, product should look like. Uh, so you're going to have the little chocolate cup mm -hmm. and you're going to take um, the um, just pie cherry, can of uh, pie cherry. Uh, cherry pie filling. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and fill it. And that's all there is to it. And that's it's just it. That Isn't quick. it beautiful? Mm -hmm. Okay, George, we're going to share this. Yeah. Yes, we are. There mm -hmm. we are. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, they can be a little messy. Mm -hmm. If you pick them up and don't eat them with a fork, it's just mm -hmm. like pop the whole mm -hmm. thing in. Pop the whole mm -hmm. thing in and just oh, that is enjoy great. it. Mm -hmm. Nice and chocolatey, yeah. not too sweet. Let it be right. messy if you want, okay? Because it tastes so good that you'll get over that in a hurry. Okay. Again, a wonderful, wonderful recipe that's good any time of the year, but especially a holiday treat, mm -hmm. whatever the holiday, okay? Black Forest Bites from Cheryl Knowlton from Edgewood. We thank you so much, and the number is 800-443-1999. Try it in your kitchen. Thank you, George. Thank you. Thanks, Cheryl.